Welcome back to the show, everyone. My name is Charlie Maverick. This is the 2nd of April, 2015, and this is the Mavcast coming to you. So I'm back. So if you guys that have been used to watching the show or not seeing my face right now, it's it's not a technical issue to where you cannot see me on video, but I, I'm taking it back to a time where I just used to do audio versions of the show um, which basically in my eyes was a better quality show because you were less distracted upon uh, appearances or whatnot and um, it, it's a different way of receiving the content in my opinion and I'm more of a traditional type radio type guy I love to listen to NPR and there's not videos on there and then I have some videos to where I need to see things like reviews of phones and, and whatnot I don't do those type of videos so in essence uh, the podcast is going to be audio only uh, still through YouTube and still posted on iTunes but I want to basically probably give you a better quality type show still have guests on here whatnot um, so and nothing's going to change into that format, but just wanted to let you know uh, that this is how it's going to be for uh, the time period until I possibly uh, change my mind. Uh, but today we're here to talk about the automated system really quickly. It's not going to be a long show, so thanks for tuning in. Gonna Also with the format of the show, just going to try to keep it shorter because I know a lot of people's attention span is... Uh, is uh, not long and uh, neither is mine so uh, you know I'm going to be considerate of that and uh, see if we can um, get shorter topics and whatnot so the automated system is the first topic in this audio only uh, live broadcast type format uh, so audit automated systems have you ever called a company let's say Comcast SunTrust um, anybody that has a working automated system and have you ever gone on that automated system and had a pleasurable experience especially if you have never called that number before and you're not familiar to how the automated system works so you first call the automated system right and they ask you for your information if it doesn't detect it from your number first. So if it detects it from your number, that's great. But if it doesn't detect it from your number, uh, then you have to put in some information. So you got to put in your social or your account information. So nine times out of ten, you were thinking that you were going to go ahead and talk to somebody or press zero to get to somebody, and then you can just give them that information. So <laughs> you you get on there and you put in your account information. and they ask you the reason and it's usually voice indicated and, and not uh, a choice of touch uh, but they do give you uh, options on some of them to where you can even press the button that the, the number that corresponds to the choice or just say what you want say what you want is not always uh, intuitive as I have found and it aggravates you doesn't it doesn't it aggravate you the fact that in this day and age, this technology that has been around for a while, meaning the IVR, the automated system, and they have it perfected it to where it doesn't enrage you. So you're talking to it and you tell them the reason. And it's like, we don't understand that. Well, you just told me to tell you the reason, didn't you? And they're like, yeah, we don't understand that. Uh, can you please repeat? And then you're like, what? All right, so I'm, 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 I'm going to use one of the examples that you just said. And you give one of the examples and it still didn't understand you. Or you have a thick accent and no one can understand you and you're trying to use the automated system. So all you want to do is talk to somebody. I don't want to go through the automated system. I don't want to do that unless I want to make a simple payment. But I want, I want a, a question answered about my dang account. So all you're trying to do is find the quickest possible way to talk to someone. And by the time you get to them, you're pissed off. And what happens on that call by the time you get to that person and you're pissed off? 
It's not going to be a pleasurable experience. So what is the rating that you're going to give on the survey for that person? Well, they're going to take a hit because the IVR took you about five minutes to get to you know, a live person through that, through that automated system for a 30-second question. You know, so something that could be answered in 30 seconds took you uh, five and a half minutes <laughs> to complete, which enrages you. And you just can't you just can't call a company anymore from the car like you used to and and expect to be totally hands free. No, you got to type in something. And in and, and the way that we're working with smartphones and and car automation and all that. You should be able to call any company and they should have a car friendly voice intuitive app or a straight shortcut way to get to an operator. It used to be tradition to press zero a whole bunch of times and you get to someone. Well, some people are smart. Some companies have gotten smart and they're like, well, we don't recognize that. <laughs> It doesn't enrage you also when you get to the person after going through all that, going through the IVR, getting aggravated, you put in all your information, you did as you were instructed, and when you get to the person that you are supposed to talk to to answer your question, what do they do? They ask you for the same information that you put in. Not all the time, not all the time, but let's think about it from the aspect of what if their system doesn't work or what if your number or information does not pull up anything. Well, I've worked in that environment before and it doesn't work all the time. So here's a little devil's advocate for the company. Technology sometimes sucks. Implementation, implementations sometimes suck. The idea is great. But if your account information doesn't pull up or if you don't have an account, you're screwed. You have to give all your information over again. It doesn't happen all the time, but when you really need to talk to someone, really, really need to talk to someone real quick because you're late for work or late for a meeting or you got to do something else really quick and you thought, Man, this is not going to take that long. Just call them, get it done real quick. And then it takes you forever. Then you get aggravated or you hang up or, or you just you just mean to the person that you talk to and they're like, I didn't do anything to you. And then you like, I don't give the IVR. I can't understand why the blah, 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 IVR. And, you know, I've heard that before. Now, let's think about why is it beneficial? Is it beneficial to you, the customer? Or is it beneficial more to, for the company? Well, I thought about it from two aspects. I thought I, 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 both sides. I looked at it because you know, to get to me at work, you have to go to some level of a uh, automated system. Uh, and I worked in collections before, and you got to go through some type of automated system if you call in a large company. So that's just what you got to do. Um, and I thought about it as a customer, and I felt that. When I was to call, and it worked great, it got me to a place to where I needed to be. But nine times out of ten, the IVR does not work great, and it is not a perfect world, so you do have some type of aggravation. And if you are in the situation to where you put in all your information and you had this sense of hope, to where you didn't have to give this is going to cause you not to give the person your information then that becomes a detriment to customer service because of the fact that you have to give your information all over again so is it really beneficial to the customer if you have to repeat everything well I'll tell you right now and segueing over to the company's benefit to it it's going to benefit the company more because it helps them track how the calls came in. Inside baseball a little bit, people. So you, you get a false sense of hope with the prompts on the automated system to a certain extent. 
because here here's a here's a double edged sword situation the IVR ultimately helps you get to a correct department if you know exactly what you need and it will route you at least to that correct department sometimes <laughs> In a perfect world, it gets you to the correct department. In a regular world that we do live in, it does not get you to a regular department. It gets you to somebody that you probably have to get transferred to someone else. And I see that every day. So it's more for the company's tracking information to see how the calls are coming in, see the purpose of the calls. But there is some type of redundancy with that too because the way that uh, the systems work with companies as they put information in they track that also to figure out what is the true reason of the call why did they do that because the companies typically don't trust the automated system and how the calls are routed because sometimes you do not know what the hell you are calling in for. You don't know what the exact thing you need at that point. You know kind of in the area what you need, but you're not sure exactly what you need. And then you might get to the wrong person. And then they might have to transfer you a few times. And then eventually they put in case reasons or whatnot, or ticket reasons why you called. So with all that being said, it's more for the company, but the company doesn't get any like solid end-all, be-all data from that. It's still uh, obscure to the full reason that you called in as a customer, and they tell you on the automated system that you know to enhance the customer experience or to better assist you, we have updated our choices on the automated system, so please listen. So you're listening to this long message, and all you want to do is press zero, because you, how about if you call a company that you know only has like one or two departments, and the number that you called should get you to that department because they have different numbers for different departments? That aggravates you more that you have to go through all those prompts. So, with that being said, IVR suck. And it's to the point to where there needs to be an overhaul on it. Like, just giving us more choices is not going to fix it. Giving us a better voice recogni recognized system or voice recognition, talking to a company like Nuance and uh, somebody did come in and say, hey, I understand that you want to have this automated system, but uh, yeah, it's not working that well, so let's do something to help it. And you know, companies want to save money and, and, and all that. That's fine. But we're at the point where there needs to be an overhaul on the automated system. And I know every last person that is going to listen to this show is going to be like, I understand you, Charlie. I've been trying to voice my opinion on this for a long time. And guess what? We hear you. Oh, we hear you loud and clear. So that's it for me today. Hey, you guys, there is a new website for the MathCast. If you want to follow the MathCast on all the episodes, so if you want to click on the YouTube version of the audio or the past videos, you can go to www.themathcast.com and you can find all of those videos or you can listen to the audio versions on the right side of the page to where it comes through from an iTunes feed. Or you could just subscribe to the show on iTunes and listen on your mobile phone. This is a great way to consume the show. And I hope so. If you also love the show and want to uh, pay tribute in some way, shape, or form in the way of monetary uh, contributions, then you can go to the main YouTube page of me and click on fan donations and give a dollar or whatever you want. 
It's not mandatory, but if you want to be a Patreon, please show your love for the show. And if you do not have the money to show your love for the show, please tell your friends, family, co-workers about the Mavcast so they can tune in and we can all have fun. Hey, you guys have a great weekend. The Avengers is already out. This is going to be a great, awesome weekend. Weather is beautiful in Atlanta, Georgia. So I hope the weather is fine where you are. If it's not, find something to do that's going to have you enjoy your weekend to the top. The top. The top. Hey, you're awesome. I'm awesome. We're all awesome. Hey, if you got a baby mama, don't push her down the stairs. Why? It's warm outside. She might land on some type of like nest of bugs and it might sting her. And then you got to take her to the emergency room and they're like, well, how'd you fall on this? And she's gonna like, well, he pushed me down the stairs. Then you're going to go to jail. It's the Mavcast and I'm out. <laughs>